Today I'm going to show you how to sew a super cute roll up toy car race mat. It is very simple to make, even a beginner can do it. I designed the pattern specifically so that when it rolls up, it will fit inside of Operation Christmas Child shoebox bin so that we can make these for donations, which also makes them perfect travel size toys. The link below in the description box will bring you to the pattern pieces that you can print at home if you're watching from our website, alohasewingcompany.com, aloha and sew along with us. My biggest piece of advice is when you cut your fabric out with your pattern pieces, lay your pattern piece right on top of the fabric stack and keep those together. That way you can follow along and know what you're piecing together easily. The first thing we're going to do is work on section one. It's the car garage. You should have cut one on the fold of your fabric, meaning your fabric was folded, you lined up your pattern piece on the fold of that fabric, and you cut it out. Now get that pattern piece again, line it up, and you will see the notches right on the top of that pattern piece. Bring it down just a little bit on top of that fabric, and using chalk or a water soluble pen or something else that will come off the top of your fabric because this will show, go ahead and make lines on your fabric lined up with those marks on your pattern piece. Flip the pattern piece to the other side of the fabric and make the same lines on the other side. Once you've made your guide marks, you can see mine here, just small little ones on the top and the bottom. We're going to get a ruler or something else that you have on hand that's straight. Line up your ruler against those guide marks and draw a straight line connecting them. You're gonna do that for each one. These are gonna be your sewing guide marks so that you can follow that line to sew to make your car garage. Once you have your guide marks drawn, go ahead and get section one roadway pattern piece. There's only one of them. And what you're going to do is get your section one car garage that we just made these guidelines on. And with the fold on the right side, place it against the left side of this, this section one piece. You're going to line it up just like that and then go ahead and pin or clip it right on the sides just to hold it in place. After you have it pinned or clipped on the sides, take this to your sewing machine and you're going to sew this top piece to your section one piece, my black piece here, following those guidelines that you just marked. Here's what mine looks like now that I have my guide marks sewn. Later I'll go and wipe off that chalk and you can see that there's two flaps on the side, that's totally okay, but you should have pockets in the middle that fit your little toy cars. These fit any size little standard toy cars that you can buy for a dollar anywhere. This next part is optional, but I thought it was a cute touch. I got some yellow gold thread, and I'm going to make a road line down each of my roadway sections. You only do this for section two and section three. And here's what it looks like with the line just straight sewn down each piece. To make sure that you sew a semi straight line, go ahead and get your road pieces, fold them in half and press it with your finger just so that you get a crease right down the middle of that roadway. And then you're going to use that as your guide to use your thread to sew all the way across. Do this for each of your section two and section three roadways if you wanna do this step. And don't forget to keep all of your fabric with the correct pattern piece. Now we're ready to section our pieces together. Get section two pieces and line them up just like this. You will have three road pieces and two city or forest pieces in between those. Line them up just like I have here. And then the top three, push them aside just a little bit. Get your bottom piece and lay it right side down, lining up with the bottom of your city or forest piece. And then stitch using a 1 4 inch seam allowance all the way across the bottom. Once you have it stitched, fold it open and press open your seam. 
Then you're going to get the very next piece up, lay it right side down, right on top of your city or forest piece, across the top, go ahead and sew a straight line, again using 1 4 inch seam allowance. When you're done, open that seam up and you're going to follow this process until you have all five pieces connected together. Now you have section two completely put together. Section one was your car garage, this is section two, and now we have one section left and you are completely finished. So when you are finished putting the section together, this is optional again, but you can go ahead and flip it to the other side and press your seams flat, or you can open the seams up and press them. Either way, I don't really notice a big difference and it works fine if you don't as well. Now you're going to go ahead and work on section three. Grab all three of your section three pattern pieces and your fabric that goes along with that and you're going to line them up just how I'm going to do here with your two long road pieces spaced out just a little bit. Get your little square road pieces with your stitched line going vertical if you made your lines and then you're going to line them up just like that and then put your city or forest pieces right in between. Put your two long road pieces to the side and then just like we did on section two, you're going to piece these five pieces together, lining them up with the right sides together, sew across the bottom first. Once you have that done, open up your seam and then you're going to get the next piece up lay it right side down and stitch all the way across the top. Open up your seam, get the next one, lay it right side down and stitch across the top and continue this until you have all five pieces stitched together. Once you have all five stitched together, you're going to get the road piece on your left and lay it right side down, right on top of those five pieces you stitched together. And then you're gonna sew a straight line all the way down that left side. Once you have that sewn, go ahead and open it up and press your seam flat. And then you're going to get your other long road piece lay it right side down, right on top of your middle five pieces, aligning with the right edge, and sew a straight line all the way down the right side of this. Once you've done that and you've opened your seam to flatten it out, you can turn this around and flatten all of your seams out like you did before if you want. Now we're gonna section these together. Section one, section two, and section three. Get section one and lay it right side down on section two, aligning the left raw edges, and then you're gonna sew a straight line all the way down the left side. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up your seam. Get section three and lay it right side down against the right side so that you match up your right raw edges. So a line all the way down the right side. Now that we have this piece together, we're gonna to work on making the ties so that we can close this together. With your tie fabric piece on each short end, you're gonna fold it in 
about one fourth of an inch and press it flat with your iron. I'm only showing you one side, but again, you're gonna do this to both sides. Once you've done that, you're gonna fold it in half all the way down the entire tie and press it with your iron. Again, I'm just showing you a short piece to teach you how to do it, but you're gonna go all the way down the length of your tie. When you open this up, you're going to see a creased line down the middle. We're gonna use that as our guide. Get the bottom part of your fabric and fold it up right to that crease. It does not have to be perfect, but try to get it as straight as you can. Press it flat with your iron so that it holds in place. And then you're going to get your top fabric piece and fold that into that middle line as well and press it again with your iron. Now you're going to fold this in half and press it again with your iron. And then after that, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and those two folded edges right there at the top that we folded together, we're gonna sew a straight line going down the entire length of your tie so that way it closes this together. Let's try to stay close to the edge using about a 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. It is once it's all sewn, just a straight line going all the way down and that's it for your tie. Now, if you wanna add some optional fusible fleece to the back of your mat, this just gives it a little bit more padding and durability, a little bit more professionalism, but it is totally optional. Get the rough side of your fusible fleece. It is one-sided fusible fleece that I'm using. Lay it right, that rough side, right on the back of your sectioned mat and lay it flat and then you're going to put any kind of fabric right on top of that. And then you're going to get your iron and hold it and press in sections, not going back and forth with the iron, but lifting and putting it back down for about 10 seconds and then lifting and going, lifting and going until you've got it all fused to the back of your fabric. So now this is connected to that sectioned mat. going to get the back of your race car mat. I use this fun print so that it's reversible. The kids can use it on the other side or on this side. You're going to fold it in half and on the right side make a little clip right there in the middle where the fold is. This is going to be the guide to where you're going to lay your ties. Just a little slit, not too big. Open it back up and then grab your ties, fold it in half, and then the folded end, you're going to lay right on top of that slit that you just cut with the tail ends of your ties going towards the middle of your fabric. Make sure the folded end overlaps the side of your fabric just a little bit, and we will remove that later, but you wanna do that in case your fabric moves while you're sewing. Pin or clip that in place, and then you're going to get your sectioned race car mat piece, lay it right side down, right on top of this. You're, you're essentially sandwiching these fabric pieces together. Once you have it sandwiched, get your pin or clip right where you put your ties and make sure that it's all three layers clipped or pinned together. Then you're gonna take this to your sewing machine and sew all the way around your entire mat using a 1 4 inch seam allowance and at the bottom, you're going to leave a two to three inch gap that you do not sew closed. So you're gonna start here, go all the way around, and leave that little gap open at the bottom. Mine is sewn a little bit less than one fourth of an inch because I'm trying to teach my 12 year old to sew as well and she's helping with these donation items. But now you're going to go to each corner and clip off the excess fabric from your corners to reduce that bulk and any extra fabric you have from your ties, go ahead and clip that off as well. Go to that whole opening that you did not close at the bottom and you're gonna flip this entire mat right side out. Once you have it flipped right side out, you're going to put your hand in there and smoothen out all the seams, poke out your corners. I like to use a chopstick when I do this because it really helps 
like open up those seams so that it can lay flat nicely and evenly. Now the only thing that we have left to do is to close that opening there on the bottom. Put your two pointer fingers in there and pull that fabric apart or just fold it inward like I'm doing here and it will automatically push your fabric inwards to be flush with the rest of the outside fabric. Pin or clip this in place and then you can sew just that area or you can top stitch right close to the edge all the way around the entire mat. And now you're completely done sewing. These make the perfect gifts for Operation Christmas Child donations or for any boy or girl for holidays, birthdays, Christmas, Easter, all of that stuff. And they're great for travel. You can fold them up with the cars still in the garage and the way that this was designed, they won't fall out when it's folded. You're just gonna fold it and then tie it just like I'm doing here. Or you can add some Velcro strap closure if you wanna get inventive with that instead. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun sewing along with me. Please, please, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all of our easy sewing patterns as they're released. Visit alohasewingcompany.com or the link is down below in the description box on YouTube to see all of our super easy sewing patterns that you can print at home so you can start to sew faster. We make sewing patterns for literally everything from baby items, kids clothes, decorations, holiday stuff and gifts, bags and more. And before you go, mahalo.